I strongly believe that NoFap is the number one most life-changing change that you can make in your life today. But there's a lot of skepticism behind quitting pornography, as our society actually encourages young men and women to watch porn and masturbate. It's considered normal, it's considered healthy. And because of this, there are millions of people on this planet that are not aware of the dangerous side effects of viewing pornography. So today, I'm going to convince you to take on the NoFap challenge and quit pornography for good by using scientific evidence to back up my claims. Now, before we even jump into pornography itself, we have to talk about a special little neurotransmitter called dopamine. What is dopamine? Why is it important? Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that is responsible for seeking and searching rewards. Dopamine provides us with the motivation and drive to pursue potential rewards or long-term goals. If you've ever craved dessert, that was all because of dopamine. If you ever spent hours on a video game trying to level up, that was dopamine. Without it, you lose all motivation to go out there and do things. Scientists have even conducted experiments where they turned off the dopamine receptors in rats and found that the rats would become so lazy that they died of starvation. Even though there was food in their cage, they simply had no motivation. Drugs like cocaine, heroin, and Adderall all work on the dopamine receptors in your brain. They stimulate the dopamine receptors at extremely high levels. Your body is constantly trying to maintain homeostasis, which is a baseline level. So when presented with levels that are not natural, your brain reacts by decreasing your overall number of receptors. What are the effects of a lower amount of dopamine? Studies have shown that people with low dopamine receptors have the following side effects. Fatigue, lack of motivation, insomnia, mood swings, memory loss, social anxiety, low libido, sugar cravings, stress, inability to connect with others, inability to focus. And there's also growing evidence that low dopamine is a direct cause of depression. You're probably thinking, well, that's for hardcore drugs. There's no way pornography can have a similar effect on my nervous system as cocaine. And it's here where you're wrong. Sexual stimuli is actually the most stimulating dopamine activity you can naturally partake in. It's because sex is crucial for the survival of your genes, so your body always rewarded you the most for it. It raises your dopamine levels to around 200%, which is the same amount as morphine and a bit lower than cocaine, which stands at 300%. And unlike cocaine, which peaks at 300% for only a couple of minutes, pornography has the ability to stay above 200% for as long as you like. This is due to something called the Coolidge effect. When scientists put a male mouse into a cage with a female mouse, they observed that the mice would have a ton of sex. But over time, the male would start to get less and less interested. He would have a hard time reaching orgasm, and eventually, he was no longer interested in having sex. This indicated that dopamine levels decreased over time. However, when a new female mouse was introduced, his dopamine levels would spike all the way back up, and he would be able to go at it again. In fact, if the scientist continued to introduce new female mice into his cage, he would keep having sex until he physically could not move. This same effect is 100% present in humans. This means, while watching pornography, you can consistently keep your dopamine levels high by watching different videos. Every new video, every new clip you watch is like taking another little bump of cocaine. And unlike cocaine, which is something you can only do so much of because of its high cost, difficulty to get, and risk of overdose, it's entirely possible for you to watch porn for hours and hours at a time. And remember, for the entire time you're watching porn, you're bombarding your brain with dopamine levels equivalent to those caused by some hardcore drugs. And of course, when that happens, your brain starts decreasing the amount of dopamine receptors you have. Over the course of years of watching porn, you end up doing some serious damage to your dopamine reward circuits. This is a large reason why there are so many men out there that have mental disorders such as social anxiety, depression, and lack of motivation. It's because they are constantly screwing with their dopamine. And the worst part is that society is actually encouraged them to do so. It's no surprise that people who take on the NoFap challenge and quit pornography for good have reported things like more motivation, more libido, less anxiety, increased social skills, and a feeling of being alive again. It's because when they finally stopped watching porn, their dopamine levels started returning to normal. No fap challenge, and I can guarantee that you'll see the same benefits.